Hey everybody, Yuri Matso here, and today we're talking about the Echo Mobile brake controller from Kurt. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you've seen that I talked about this brake controller while I towed this trailer 3,000 miles across the United States. So in this video, we're gonna go talk about how to connect it, the mobile app, how does it work with the trailer, and any other features that you guys may need to know. So let's get this started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the package. And when you go to pair this up, I recommend that first you open up this flap and there's a pin on the inside. So write that pin down so that you're ready to pair it when you install it. Now go to your iOS and Android devices and go type in Kurt and you'll see this Echo Smart Controller. So go ahead and install that right now. So now what you're gonna wanna do is turn on the vehicle. You can either press the start button two times or you can actually turn on the engine. I recommend that you just press it twice. Now take the Kurt brake controller and just insert it in. And then you're gonna see that it's blinking. So when you actually pair it, that's gonna go solid. So we're gonna show you how to pair it with the phone. Now, when you open up the mobile app, you know, go ahead and press tap to accept. Accept the Bluetooth reminder. And I'd like to send you notifications. If you're driving, it might be good to have, so that's your choice. Let's just go allow for right now. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Accept. Uh, continue, because we've already plugged it in. Uh, connect the echo controller via bluetooth so we're gonna go ahead and scan for devices so now it's showing that there is an echo brake controller at the top and i click on it would you like to pair with the echo brake controller we're going to press ok pairing successful and that's because it already had the password set in from previous so it already knows this brake controller but you guys will just go ahead and type in your password at that point so now that we have that in there you can see that there's profile one, two, three, four, and five. So you can have up to five different uh, vehicles uh, using this Kurt brake controller. Now, more likely if you have the same trailer, the same profile will probably be okay. But uh, if you're gonna be towing multiple different kinds of trailers, maybe you can make the profiles uh, and change the name to, you know, Mirage 12 foot trailer, uh, Mirage 10 foot trailer, or however, boat trailer. So you guys can do that. But we're gonna take our trailer and we're going to connect it and actually you see right here I don't know if you can see from there you can see that it's uh, glowing green that means that everything's paired correctly so that's a good sign so now when we go to the wheel I already have this wheel floating in the air suspended and when you press on it, it locks up the brakes. You guys can probably hear the brakes activating. So, that's how you can tell if everything is working properly. So, at the very bottom here, you have max output sensitivity adjustment and vehicle hazard lights. So, the max output is how aggressively the brakes are going to apply pressure uh, to the drum. And uh, I think originally it starts after like 30, 35%. And uh, I believe uh, how to tell if everything is actually gonna work for you. And you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, you have your vehicle in drive and uh, then you would apply on this brake here. And when the vehicle can no longer move under its own power without you accelerating, um, that's when you have sufficient braking to the rear. But I don't know if that's gonna be sufficient for like heavier weights, like what I was doing because I originally set it up this way. And uh, so I had it like at 35 or 40. But when I was going downhill, I realized that I actually needed quite a bit more. So I had it bumped up to 75 because going downhill, you can definitely feel that the truck started to get a little bit loose and that it was definitely getting pushed down the hill as opposed to uh, gradually slowing. So my recommendation is obviously take it to a hill get a feel for it and adjust the sensitivity exactly as you need it. So for this trailer, I was loaded up uh, almost at 4,000 pounds. I think it was 3,800. Uh, it, re it required at least 75 max output. And the, the sensitivity, I believe, is how aggressive and how quickly the brakes actually activate. So for me, I had it at seven. I didn't want it to lock up immediately. Uh, so I didn't have it at nine, but I had seven. And uh, I think it goes all the way down. So it's just a one to nine is the settings for the sensitivity. So again, when you spin it, how quickly it'll engage. But since this is free floating and doesn't have any weight, it's not gonna actually give you a good reading from this. Um, so that's how you guys set up this brake controller. 
and there's really nothing else in this application. Let's see here, I think there's just, uh, you can do uh, sync devices, activate profile, or active profiles, which for some reason is not working, profile list, so between the different vehicles that you have, and controller settings, which you can have a white or a dark theme, that's about it. Now the other thing about this is if you lose and break up the wireless signal from the brake controller to the phone, uh, don't worry about it because whatever the last setting that you programmed in your phone is uh, remembered and stored on the curb uh, brake controller. So what I did on my drive was, you know, I set the settings that I need, the parameters, and then I just, you know, switch it and go to Spotify or something like that and listen to some music. And uh, you don't have to worry about anything happening because it's going to still break and it's going to be fine as long as obviously the connection is together and didn't get ripped out somehow during your trip, you're going to be just fine. Now, I hope that you guys found this video helpful and help you guys make some decisions on which brake controller is the best for you. I personally like this setup because it's easy to use. I can swap it back and forth between vehicles, let friends and family use it as well. It is a little bit more expensive than more traditional brake controllers, but uh, the convenience is something that I was looking forward. Plus, I don't like to have extra clutter inside my truck. Um, I didn't want to screw anything in or tape anything on. Uh, the uh, scan gauge too was sufficient for me to have as an extra piece down at the bottom. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.